instrumentation amplifier using two op op mean using two operational amplifier okay there are two operational amplifier this is a1 minus plus this is second op a2 minus plus input is applied to the non-inverting v into input is applied to the non-inverting to a1 also the inverting terminal is connected to the inverting terminal of a1 through the registers R3 is variable R1 and again R1 the same registers here is R2 and then it is to the grounded here there's a feedback register R2 this is a V out okay now here the current flowing is I1 here are two R2 the current flowing is I2 through this line the current flowing is I3 this is a node this is a node okay and here let this point we mark it A that is B then this point from the data is connected to the A2 this point is B this point is C this point is T this is E okay now applying the gauge of current flow to the node D here here the all the current they are flowing outward so I1 plus I2 plus I3 it is equals to 0 and for operation amplifier A1 and this is the characteristics of the ideal operation amplifier that uh, the virtual voltage at the point P the same as that at the point A so VB and VA they are the same approximately same voltage and that it is equals to V in 1 now for the operation amplifier A2 the voltage at the point D and voltage at E they are the same equals to V in 2 ok now what what the current I2 here the two points VD and R thing R thing is 0 so VD minus 0 over R2 substituting the value of VD which is V in 2 so this becomes I2 now let me write the current I1 through R1 I1 is across R1 there are two points D and C so VD minus VC there is a potential difference across R1 divided by R1 that becomes the current I1 ok now substituting the value of VD which is V into here then the current R1 becomes V into minus VC over R1 ok now let me write the current I3 across this I3 is equals to there are the two points here VD and uh, this is a point P VB upon R3 so this is current I3 now again now substituting the value of VD and as well as VP you know well what is VD and what is VP VP is V in 1 and VD is V in 2 so this becomes V in 2 minus V in 1 upon R3 this is I3 okay 
Now we are having I1, I2 as well as I3. This I2, I1 and I3. And we are having the equation I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals to 0. Substituting the value of I1, I2 and I3 and then some simplifications. Okay. Let we call this the equation number 1. This is the first part of the article. Now let we concentrate to the node B. To the node B at one side the register R1. Across the points are C and B. This register is R1. So current flowing which is inward in direction. It is VB minus VC divide it by R1. So now we consider it to the R3 register. To R3 register the two points are D and B. So BB minus VD the potential difference divided by R3. This current is also inward. Now outward this outward current through R2. This is the feedback register. It is VP minus, so it is sorry, it's VO, V out minus VP divided by R2. This is outward, so it is equals to. Just uh, substituting the value of VP, which is uh, V in 1 and VD, which is, you know, V in 2. So the above equation, this equation becomes Just simplifying the expression. This is equation number 2. So why having two equation, equation 1, equation 2. And the right hand side of the two equation, they are the same. So equating.
this is the result of uh, the instrumentation amplifier. The output is amplified. V in 1 minus V in 2 is the differential input. So output is amplified by the in the right hand side multiplied by the differential input. Okay, V out is equal to differential input and that the expression which is on the right hand side. What are the advantages of the circuit? That you try yourself please. Okay.